Hello, welcome to this episode of Captain Desperate Six Plus Session. Joining us tonight is Christina. How are you doing tonight? Good. How are you? Good. Good. Um, so the last time you were here was about a month ago. Yes. How have you been doing? I've been great. Yeah, I had some uh, vacation time. I went back That's home nice. to Russia. That's nice. How was that? It was good. Okay. It was a lot was of fun. It cold? Yes. Well, it wasn't as cold as I was thinking it was going to be, but okay. How yeah. cold was it? I don't know. Maybe like 30s, 20s. Oh, really? That's not, that's yeah, not like bad. not that bad. That's not bad at all. Do mm -hmm. they use Fahrenheit in Russia? No, Celsius. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, so, like, what do people wear in Russia, like in this time of year? You know, furs, okay. hats. Okay. Same as here, but. Much more stylish than. Yeah, here. absolutely. <laughs> Well, I don't know, it was in Cambridge, like Peter Town, so oh, yeah. <laughs> no fur allowed. Oh yeah, that's true, that's true, yeah. <laughs> um, so, what was it that we talked about the last time we were here? Procrastinating. Okay, okay. How, how is that working out? Well, <laughs> um, uh, well, since the last time we talked, I haven't really had to do much. Okay. Because it was right before, you know, I had a break and right. then I went on vacation and then I right. changed jobs, you know, things like that. Okay. So I haven't really been able to put it to the test. Okay. Because I have, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I'm still, maybe I'm not procrastinating in the sense right. that I have something to do and I'm putting it off. Okay. But I feel like I'm just having a hard time, like, starting stuff. Okay. Like motivated to like like I know there's things that I, I need to do. I just can't seem to get like back into the non vacation mode. Okay, that's fair. Mm -hmm. um, so put it in one sentence, what would you like to do today? I would like to get motivated. Okay. What does that word to mean? Do well, you know, like be excited to get up right. because you know you have all these things to do and then right. feel a sense of accomplishment when you go, you know, at the end of the, of the day right. because you've, you know, done stuff. Right. As opposed to me, I feel like right now, like I wake up just in time to give myself enough time to make it to work on time. Right. And then I come back and I don't really do anything. And even though like there is time for me to like maybe go to the gym or like do some work from home or okay. organize. I just don't. I come home, I of course scarf my face and then I just watch like my TV shows and then I go to bed. You know? That's pretty, that's pretty nice. I mean of course it's very yeah, nice. A lot but of people like to do that. No, 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 of course. But then I don't get all the things done that I need to do. Okay. Because I'm not, for me work and school is not all. I have my business that's right. like completely in just it has been on a standstill like I get I still get clients so I okay. get people coming in but I'm not putting anything out because I just don't I don't know I don't want to take pictures I don't want to upload it to eBay like for some reason even though before I was like so excited all the time like oh look at all this new <laughs> stuff I got like let's put it up let's see how much we can get for it and, yeah I don't know now it's almost like the piles are too big so it's getting like too overwhelming so I don't know I just need to get back into Okay. That like, let's okay, let's 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 go, let's go. You know, no more getting home and just like sitting on the couch. Okay. You know. Right. Um, if you can pick one thing to do tonight. Tonight. Uh, or. <laughs> okay. Okay. I mean, I can upload like twenty things. I I can upload twenty items. Say, is I can is do that. that doable? Yes. Very doable. How long would that take? Um, I don't know, 40 minutes. Okay. What's the first thing you need to do? Well, I already have the pictures taken. They're okay. on. I know. But see, now I'm giving myself an excuse. Oh, I can't find the measuring tape. So I can't okay. measure like the dimension, so I can't put it up. Even though that's so stupid so because a lot of... So right? So that's the... I guess. I yeah. could stop my CVS real quick. Yeah. Put that in your expense account, you know. What is it going to be, like 99 cents? I think I can swing that. I think I might have enough pennies in my car. But no, okay, so yes, I need to do that, which will eliminate this excuse of not having a tape measure. And then I can go home and bang out 20 items. 
easily. Okay. So that would be forty minutes. Yeah. Okay. Let's 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 round it up to an hour. Okay. You know, just in case. What time would you like to start? Well, let's say it's eight now, yeah. seven thirty. Um, no, ten. Okay. Ten thirty. Right, and it will be done by. By eleven thirty. Okay. And how would you reward yourself when it is done? I'd probably get into bed and watch an episode of Desperate Housewives and fall asleep. Okay. So you have something to look forward to. Did yes. you need a plan to do that, or do you just do that? In terms of a plan for uh, what? Um, uploading to is it eBay? Yeah. Is that what you do? No, I don't need a plan. I mean, it's okay. already I've already taken the pictures. They're already in a pile. I just okay. now have to, you know, physically upload each item and then hang everything on a hanger, on a rack. Okay. Um, do you need a lot of attention to do that? No, not at all. N not even a little bit. <laughs> like I can have the TV on the background. <laughs> okay, so you can like put on some music. Yeah. Yeah. So, so in a way, you know, sometimes distraction is good. You know. Mhm. Mm yeah. Um, so when when you got that done, it will create momentum for you to move on to the next thing. Right. And so so we call that like freeing up your your mental energy. Mm -hmm. So right now, I guess it's kind of like all in a little bubble okay. inside your, your head, right? Yeah. So we just let let loose the bubble, and then you know the energy will free up. Oh, okay. And then you know you got like going back to the pool of energy, right? Mm -hmm. So um, when you finish with that, what would be the next thing you need to do? Upload twenty more. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> and. Or you mean like right away? What would I mean? No, no, like, like, you know, what's the next thing in your plan? Well, I would say I probably need to upload every day. That has okay. to become a, a, like a routine thing. Okay, it is a job, right? Yes. You're the boss and, right. and you need to do the job. You know? yeah. And then the next thing that I need to do is write my capstone proposal. Okay. Since that's like the last thing that's missing from graduating, so kind of, kind of a big deal. Okay. Um, what do you need to do for that? Just write it. Do you have it planned out? Pretty much, yes. Are you just say <laughs> Yeah, I just have to formulate it into a piece of paper, onto a piece of paper. So you have like the outline and your points. I mean, the it's only a, it's supposed to be a page long, okay. so it's not supposed to be super duper, you know. Okay. You're just proposing your ideas and kind of. How you're gonna break everything down into each article and things like that. Okay. You have you thought about this, right? Mm, not as much as I should. No. Okay, what would be the first step? Maybe so what we're doing here is to break it down into smaller tasks. Right. So that it doesn't the the overwhelming nature of what you're about to do. Mm -hmm. It could just be like mentally overwhelming, it could be like small tasks, right? Right. But like, you know. It's like snowball rolling down, you know, mm -hmm. just become bigger and bigger, you know. So we just break it down into smaller pieces. Okay. So, um, what would be the first thing you need to do for this project? Uh, pick a focal point. Like, what am I going to focus on? Like, I have the broad topic, like consignment okay. Okay. in, you know, the Boston area. Okay. But now I have to narrow it down to what exactly do I want to pick a store or a chain of stores to focus on do I want to pick a um, do I want to write it from the customer's okay. perspective do I want to write it from the business perspective do I you know have you written anything down no <laughs> <laughs> it, maybe you just need like a draft yes with like you know handwritten right with just fragments of ideas all over the place you know? mm -hmm. it doesn't even have to stay in the line Okay. Right. That's fine. That sounds like no. <laughs> That's the one you had. Yeah. <laughs> like all in circular. I'd be like yeah. arrows all over the place. Yeah. Um, but that's the like first step mm -hmm. to overcome this overwhelming 
right. chunk of block, you know. And then once you've got it written out, so when you write things down, it also help you decide, right? Right. So that, you know, there's these five things that are most relevant to you, mm -hmm. and then you go and you type it up, you know. Mm -hmm. So what would be a good day for you to do that? Tomorrow. Okay, what time? When I wake up. <laughs> What time is that? Like, let's noon, make it. Free. No, <laughs> no, because I have to free be somewhere at one thirty. So let's make it ten. Okay. Let's let me wake up at nine thirty. Okay, just to watch Jerry Springer. No, God, imagine I got into that. I would never like do anything. No, let's let's let me wake up at nine thirty, and then write my draft at ten. Okay. And it should literally take me a half an hour. To jot all my ideas down, I mean. Right, yeah. Not to, like, narrow the yeah. focus, but... Right. So... So very quickly, when was the last time you had this mental block problem? Or procrastination? Or oh my like god, like motivation? all the time, well... Specifically, like, with that issue. Specifically... <laughs> I mean, I feel it's it's kind of like ties into a little bit what we talked about last time with just I always put things off till the last minute, or I guess I'm very quickly not discouraged necessarily, but if I'm interested in something, I'm like gung ho crazy about it. As soon as something else comes up that maybe interests me more, okay. forget about this. I'm like gung ho about that now, okay. and so on. So I feel like. My business, when I was super interested in it, and it was new and fresh, and I was like, oh my god, yes, 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 then came the idea of actually opening up my own store. So I got more crazy about that, and just doing research on that, and just putting aside, even though, uh-huh, they go hand in hand. Right. But for some reason, I'm unable to, um, like, divide up my energy. Okay into like all these things i do but not to the fullest like amount that they should each get like they're not each of my little things that need to be done are not getting the full amount of attention right. and energy that they should all be getting right so i either a need to do like better time management stuff right because i have time during the day it's not like i'm like booked solid from like dawn to dusk or dust till dawn, I mean. <laughs> but I just I don't know. I get lazy, and not and I it's just comes from this like lack of motivation. I don't know what it is. I just don't know. Well, you've been at rest. For yeah. Like the last three to four weeks, right? Well, and then like and, I and you're just coming off from like a very hectic schedule. Right. Like the last time we talked, it was we were in a completely different world. Right. <laughs> and you know, once once you got off that train, you know, your body had to catch up and right and just repair mentally and physically of all the the exhaustion mm -hmm. gone through. Right. So now you're starting. You know, it's like booting a computer. It like, takes like a minute. Right. But to get rebooted. Right. For so, some days. Right. <laughs> in my case. <laughs> right. So 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 we start small. And then we build the momentum back again, you know. Right. Yeah. So this time this time we do this, we wouldn't be stressed out a few no. weeks down the down the road, right? Mm -hmm. So we do it small pieces one at a time. Okay. And release that energy back into the mental pool. Mm. Burst the bubble, right? Yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, well that's actually like a Freudian. Oh, is it? Um, and Algy, he, you know, uh, at the time, he, hydrodynamics was like the hardest thing. Oh. And he say that, you know, the brain is like like a steam engine. So sometimes some of the pipes are like blocked. Oh. And once you clear those pipes, you know, you got like all the energy get back to, mm. to the boiler or to the large pipe. And then, you know, the system will flow again. So we're clearing the pipes, right? That's what Freud would say. <laughs> <laughs> do we like Freud? I don't know. Do we? <laughs> I think I think he did okay. I think yeah, he did okay. he's, he's yeah. all right. Yeah, he's all right, you know. Um, so what we're about to do is hypnosis. Okay. So um, what we're going to do is just to help you release some stress. Mm -hmm. 
from I guess not doing a lot. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> um, and just to clear up the mind, you know, I guess. Um, does it feel that there's you feel like clutter? Yeah, but it's weird because what with what? I'm not doing anything. Right, but the lack of momentum. Yeah. So like it's like all the snowball is like rolling down here, mm -hmm. you know, and you can't do two things at a time. That's the saying is that you're you can only focus on one thing at a time. Mm -hmm. So there's no such thing as multitasking. Even if you're multitasking, you're still doing a lot of like little things one thing at a time. Right? Mm -hmm. So so now that you have like all these things that you have to do, and so your mind is like using a word going in different directions. Mm -hmm. But you still you can simultaneously drive to New York and Albany. Right. But if, if you need to reach both destinations, you have to drive to one place and then go to the next, right? Mm -hmm. So this is what we're doing here: is to, oh, okay. you know, clear up one thing and then systematically move to the next thing. Let's go. All right. Let's systematically right. just so, plow so through we, we all this. So we just stuff. focus on <laughs> for the image tonight. Okay. Is, is that? The what? Are they uploading trendy image? Yes. Okay. And then we take it from there. All right. All right. So sit back. Um, I want you to hold it out your hand like this. Um, take a deep breath. And just very lightly push down on my finger right here. Lighter. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Right. When your palm touches your knees, I would like you to just close your eyes. Kind of my tricks, okay? Okay. Look up here. And then count backward from three to one. When I reach number one, I would like you to close your eyes. Kind of my tricks. As soon as you close your eyes, I would like you to imagine yourself back on a calm, quiet beach. You can hear the sound of children playing in the background. And you can use your imagination to hear the seagull flying over the top of your head. And you can hear the sound of the ocean waves caresses against the shore. still hear the sound of the seagulls on top of your head. That's right. And you can still imagine the sound of the ocean waves caresses against the shore. Still imagining yourself on this calm, quiet beach. Feeling the warmth of the sun on the tip of your nose. Feeling the warmth of the sun on your cheek. Feeling the warmth of the sun on your chin and on the center of your body. the warmth spreading throughout your body, around your shoulders, and the your fingers. That's right. And you can feel the warm sand right in between the toes. That's right. So let yourself go. You 
putting on to any tension in the shoulders, on the elbow, on the fingers. Just relax and let that go. You're holding on to any tension on your nose, on your eyelids, on your eyebrow. You can relax and let that go as well. If you're holding on to any tension on your jaws, and if the teeth are still clenched together, you can relax. Backwards from five to one. Each number, you'll find yourself sinking twice as deep in your chair, sinking twice as deep in your faces, being so calm, so good, so wonderful. Five. That's right. Sinking all. Four, three, two, sinking all the way from the chair, all the way out of the floor, two, one, let yourself go. Christina, I want you to focus on your forehead right here and picture a very happy place. A happy place that could be real or a fantasy. It could be a place that you've been before or always wanted to go. It doesn't matter. Just picture yourself in this happy place right now. Imagine all the delights, all the joy. You can see all the details, the colors. You just allow yourself to be happy. While your unconscious mind is open and ready to receive the pos positive suggestions we're about to give you. That's right. Now, Christina, a minute ago, we talked about how you need more motivation. I want you to use an unconscious mind to find all those energy blockage that are in your mind and your body. Anything that is preventing you from staying focused, staying energized, stay preventing you from being the true self that you need to be. Find those energy blockage and release them. Release them into the atmosphere. energy floating, floating throughout the body, throughout the mind. Still this form of energy just flowing throughout the entire mind and body. That's right. When you go home, that time for you tonight, you're going to find it very easily and uploading all those pictures that you need to upload on every day. You'll do it without any distraction. You'll do it with an absolute focus. You may have the TV running in the background or you may choose to play some music. But as you do it, you'll just have absolute focus on what you do. Each picture you upload, you'll feel accomplished, feel delightful, and you will move on to the next image without any hesitation you do so effortlessly. Now tomorrow, 
at 10 o'clock in the morning, you're going to wake up. You find it very easy to start your capstone project. You chop down your ideas, a piece of paper. Do not think about it. Because you have been doing a lot of groundwork in this regard. You do it effortlessly. You do it easily and with full confidence. That's right. Because you have worked hard to come to this point. You have all the talents to be successful. You have all the confidence to be successful. And all you have to do is just do it. When it counts from one to ten, when you wake up, you'll feel that you've just left for the last twelve hours. Full of energy, full of motivation, full of confidence. When you come back to this room, you feel great. Feeling fully energized. One, two, three, four, five, six. You press me. Feel this optimism that just flows through your mind. That's right. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Take a deep breath in. And whenever you're ready. <laughs> Welcome back. Thank you. This is Hypnotist Very Six Position. Join us next week, Tuesday night, CCTV Channel 9.